Between these iconic hedges, the field where some of college football's greats have called home. Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, where these fans are ready to turn the dogs loose. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see, the number 25 team in the country, the Auburn Tigers, taking on the seventh ranked team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. We'll kick off to get us underway. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the Georgia Bulldogs offense will get the first crack at it here. This rivalry is intense, guys, but with all of the connections between the two, it's more like a family feud more so than a bitter war. And for example, about the connections, Reese, how about Vince Dooley, longtime Georgia coach? He went to Auburn. How about great player Pat Dye, All-American at Georgia? Coaches at Auburn. The connections are real. The rivalry is real. It'll be a draw. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. Looking for space, it's Etienne. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield, he'll lose a couple. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's back. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Man, you can't draw it up any better than that. First possession, force a third down. You want to shut the home crowd up? Sack the quarterback, create some momentum. Now you're getting the football back to your offense, probably with great field position. Georgia sends out the punt team. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. He gets his first one of the day out of there, and they used him three times in that loss last week. He gets a block, and he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stops. The Tigers' offense will go to work for the first time. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. The give to the running back from the shotgun. At the 45 on its way. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. To the ground. He's got it again. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll give it to the back. At the 40, there he goes. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. You know, in the SEC, you're going to have to run the football if you're going to win games. And you can go on and on talking about great Auburn running backs back in the day. But right here, right now, if this team's going to win an SEC championship, they need to force feed this guy the football and let him go to run. From the gun, running back on the move. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground, relying on that running game as they threaten to pick up a four down to the 13. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. 
Back to throw. It's Thorne. They're trying to get to him. And the quarterback bought a little time, but actually bought a lot of time, but not enough time. The defense gets to him. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You got an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. And he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. And that is no good. Kicker couldn't quite get it through, and the scoreboard remains the same. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. You're trying to break this scoreless tie, and instead you knock it out the post. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll start this drive with a pass. Pressure. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. On second down, he'll fire. Setting up the screen. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. He'll pull it down. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. Georgia ready to dial it up on another first down. The run from the shotgun. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's back. Looking to the big tight end. Got him downfield. And there was lots of space as he gets it to the 39-yard line. The Dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something-something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Lovett. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Offense walks through the line for play number seven of the drive. From the shotgun, the inside give. What a nifty one there to pick up the first down. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Huge play in the red zone. Third and goal coming up. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after him. And the quarterback couldn't withstand the heat, and he will go down as we played one quarter. to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. And on fourth down, they'll try to salvage the drive with a field goal. And 
the first points of the day come on that field goal. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Air Force is delivering an all-out assault offensively today, hanging points all over the wild blue yonder. They're up 14 over Navy. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Off the play fake on first down. Caught over the middle. It's Lewis. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up. And they'll move the chains with the first down. The give to the back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they can keep it on the ground. Quick pass on the jet motion. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Auburn going to work with another first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Coleman. They make the tackle at the 36, but they're in plus territory now with the 15-yard pickup. He'll do it himself. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And here comes play number six of the drive. Caught in the backfield. It's Lambert. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. You have to wonder, after missing a field goal on the last drive, how are they going to play this third down? Looking to throw. Get it out on the screen. He breaks a tackle. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They'll run it from the gun. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wants to throw. It's Thorne. Getting some heat. They get him a rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. That is just what you want defensively, right? Bend, don't break. They drove down the field a little bit. They got second and goal. Boom. Create that negative play. Now they got third and goal. Now they got to make some decisions. Do they want to be conservative? Do they want to be aggressive? Either way, an advantageous situation now for this defense. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Trying to get to it. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. Yeah, how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting him on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure on the quarterback. They'll send out the kicker here. And he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. It's good. And the field goal ties it up here in the second quarter. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. 
The returner is going to try to see what he can get. Gets it out to the 20, about five yards short of where he'd be if he had just taken a knee in the end zone. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Makes his man miss. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Back to throw. It's back. Finds his back in the middle. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And the dogs come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking for a gap. It's Etienne. And the ball's free in the backfield. Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. As a defender, you love the big hits. And you know what the cherry on the Sunday is? When you get the big hit and force the fumble. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. To the ground with the back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Running with power. And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. Line gets set, first down. He'll pull it on the read. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. They ran it on first down, now on second. He'll keep it himself. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. We'll take a quick break as we have reached the final two minutes of the first half. He's going to look for a man on third and short. How about getting the foot down on that throw for the big completion? Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. Feeling some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. How about this defense coming out aggressive on first down? They're in the red zone. They're like, no, no, no. We're going to take the fight to you. Now setting up a second down and long and putting them in a great position to be successful. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Scanning the field. It's Thorne. Gets it to the back. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. They're bringing heat. And he tried to make something happen with his feet, but they stopped him short, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Referee signals timeout. It's the defense wanting to make sure that they have everything just right with a big play coming. That is no good. And after the missed field goal, guys, we are still locked up. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kick. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to... And the freshman will chalk up a sack. A loss of two yards on the play. Second down coming up. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack at second and 12.
He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. To the ground to try to move the chains. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Man, all the tradition and bad blood between these programs, it's all kind of come to a boil today in a spirited first half in this battle between the Tigers and Dogs. And a compelling first half for a variety of reasons. Yes, there's a substantial lead to talk about, but I think it all starts with this defense that has more than made its share of big plays. If things keep trending in this direction, you can bet a ton of those backs and receivers are going to spend a lot of time in ice baths before the end of the day. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Auburn and Georgia plays out. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. The quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. The dogs getting a push in the middle and getting to the quarterback and just salivating to get at it. And every year they find these dudes. They all look the same, just massive, big, strong, quick guys that don't like people, Reese Davis, that just love hitting people with aggressiveness. And just it's so amazing that they find that year after year in this defensive line group. Catch in the middle, it's Coleman. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. And I love playing man coverage in the back end, getting those receivers' faces. Don't let them feel comfortable in, in run zone where they can find all these holes in the zone, and my rush can't get home. Pressure him, pressure him, pressure him. Auburn sends out the punting unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Gets off his first one of the day. He was called on five times in the victory last week. And the punt team able to swing him to the ground. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. It has been a complete uphill struggle for both of these offenses, Jesse. It sure has. At this point, David, someone's just going to have to step up and make a play. Someone's got to break a tackle, make an incredible catch, and just give some life to this offense. Hey, whatever you can, whatever it takes. Don't worry about looking pretty. That's out the window. We've already looked really, really ugly. we got to find something that works to put some points on the board. To the air. It's back. Gets it out fast. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. In search of their first touchdown of the game, they are on the move with a first and ten. Going to the ground. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Pocket starts to collapse. Caught near the sticks. It's Urasek. That completion takes them down to the seven-yard line, and they are ready to strike. Georgia heads to the line with a first and goal. They're trying to get to it. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. I think defenses sometimes get frustrated, and you want to get blitz happy and because you give up yards in this day and age you're going to give up yards who cares this is the area you've got to bow up nice job on first down stopping them a couple more downs here to stay aggressive defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play now a second and long coming the run up the middle looking for the score and he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage it's still third and goal He's looking downfield to throw. Pressure coming. The freshman able to get home with the sack. And it's third and goal, and listen, you're throwing for it. Uh, I get it, but 
You gotta understand the shortness of the field down here and what I can get off quickly. I can't can't take sacks. I want to give myself that opportunity on fourth down to have a really manageable situation if I want to go for it. Now it looks as if they'll Number settle for the field goal try. They've already put one field goal on the board. This one will need to be well struck from 44 yards out. It is true as he puts three on the board. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. defense will try to shut him down he'll bring it back from inside his five just never had a chance to shake loose and he'll be brought down at the 24 now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again out of the gun the running back has it rumbles ahead for a pickup of five to the 29 halfway there on first down it's second and five back to pass it's Thorne Fires to the tight end. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Using his legs, it's Cobb. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. He'll pull it down and run. And the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Power football with the run. On the move at the 30. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, the defense knew coming into this one, Reese, that this team was going to try to use their speed and take advantage of it, and they did right there. Nice gain on the run play to the right. Found plenty of running room in that defense. They've got to find a way to get there and make the tackle in the open field. Yeah, and they got to do a good job with their eyes, finding the football, and they've got to get a lot of bodies to this guy because he is fast. Fast motion from the offense. Getting some heat. And they got him for the sack. The defense continues to have a great game. Both defenses have played well. These offenses are going to have to change something up, protect their quarterbacks a little bit better. A third and long coming up here. To the air. It's back. Trying to get to him. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. The defense has had some bad stuff happen to them today. But one bright spot for them has been the pass rush. They've shown the ability to get after the opposing quarterback. Georgia lining up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. From the gun, give on the inside. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. They go to the ground. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. A third down try for the offense. Third 
Well, guys, it's Georgia holding the lead at the end of the quarter. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One quarter to go, and might we have the makings of a classic fourth quarter finish. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. Feeling some heat. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now, the seventh sack of the game. Auburn sends out the punting unit. Looking for a block. It's Lovett. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. The give on the inside. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They'll go to the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. Looking downfield, it's back. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good Number call later on in the game. Georgia sent out the punt team. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Looking for a crease, it's Cobb. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him, down goes the quarterback. This defense has taken the game over. They're winning the game in large part because of how dominant they've been up front, how good their pass rush has been. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Pocket starts to collapse. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Well, the offense looks as if they fell on the fumble, and they'll keep the ball. Great job by the defense forcing the fumble, but a bad, unfortunate bounce, and the offense pounces back on it. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. So from the shadow of his goal post, he gets the punt away. Slips through the line. He was able to get that ball up to the 48-yard line before he stopped on the return. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Out of the gun, the inside give. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal gain. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. They finally make the stop at the big run. Is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air, it's back. Fires left. A strike downfield. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. Good pass protection wasn't just the offensive line, right? Running backs also have to be able to pick up the blitz. That running back did an outstanding job. That allowed his quarterback to just buy a little bit more time before making that throw. And he will score! Touchdown Bulldogs! 
Really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great college football matchup. Tulsa is in front. They've answered the bill today, but they still have to finish the job. And that is no sure thing right now. They're up by 13 over Army. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Nice. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. I personally love aggressive defense. I love it. Bringing the strong safety down, blitzing that sucker in there to get the quarterback. Boom. Get that guy on the ground. Nice aggressive play call by the defense. We'll see if they can get a little better protection after the sack. It's second and 12. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place, trying to help their defense. Trying to make magic on the scramble. That's a 20, he's got space. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. He hurls one deep down the left side. And he holds it in at the 30. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Looking to throw it again. Got it! He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. Auburn lines up quickly. Wants to throw on second down. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. Third and goal from way back there. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires into the end zone. Intercepted. And the offense makes the tackle in frustration after the interception drive comes up empty and it's a turnover. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation point. Fourth quarter, I got a lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Very useful run there to get away from the goal line. He'll pick up four out to the six. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Give to the running back. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. On the move, it's ETN. It's these little moments like that that can help an offense as he gets it up to the 16-yard line. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. A little more space open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Timeout call by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. 
They'll leave it with him. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? They got nothing on the last play in second and ten. The give to the back. Still running at the 40. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. The defense calls a timeout, trying to get itself organized. And the quarterback takes a knee. There is a long and storied history of great games between these two rivals, and this chapter adds another to that legacy. Really impressed by the poise by the winning team as well here. They weren't overhyped in this game. They came out, they looked prepared, they were calm, definitely confident, David. They were able to go out and execute well enough to get this win. And it's hard in these rivalry games with all the emotions running so deep. Like you sometimes get overzealous, sometimes you get too many penalties. It's hard to rein in your emotions, but they did. They kept it in check and now bragging rights for a whole year. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.